Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have a tutorial on SketchUp on how to design the final project for the semester, our message center. And it is the base is 10 inches by 3 and 3 quarters inches. I'm going to give you dimensions as we go. Uh, you don't have to memorize them. We'll have them for you in the computer lab when you need them. Or you can sketch them out as you as you hear them now. Uh, I went ahead and snapped a, a rectangle here uh, down in the coordinate corner here so you don't lose it. Very small object, 10 inches long by 3 and 3 quarters. I'm going to go ahead and raise it up 3 quarters of an inch with the push-pull tool. Uh, look into your distance or, uh, down in the lower right hand corner and you'll see how that's done. So three quarters if you don't hit it just right on you can always type in the coordinate and I'm just gonna see how close we get. We do. So there's my little wooden brick or block of wood that you will get similar to this. Next thing is measuring off A three inch line from the end, which I'm going to use the tape measure for. Go ahead and grab that out to three inches. Use this quite a bit to reference different lines that I'm going to need later. This is an important place, which you will see in just a few minutes. It's the width of the wall or the, the width of the walls that will go up here in just a minute. You'll see them. Half an inch down from each edge is what we need to mark. I'm going to pull in from each direction one half inch. These two little boxes here need to be scribed out with a pencil. So I will do that next. Notice how SketchUp remembers or knows where you want to be from corner to corner. Makes it really convenient. Okay, so we have these rectangles scribed out, and those would be cut out normally by you with a handsaw, but the magic of SketchUp, we're actually going to go ahead and lift these three inches up off the deck of this base, and we'll get one of our sides. So watch the numbers as I pull up to three, and there we have it. Uh, I'm going to rotate around. Apple B, like boy, is how I'm going to lift this one up. And that's going to be push pull. And there it is. I have both my sides. I'm just pivot back around again and shape the top of both of these one at a time with a nice feature here. I'm going to go back to my measurement tool and find my midpoint which is right there and drop down an inch. This is where I'm going to where you all drill a hole through for a axle or a dowel rod but I'm going to just pull down to one inch and leave that line there for reference as I come back to my arc tool. I don't want a single arc on this one. I like the two-point arc, and you'll see why. All you have to do is very easy to create a, a rounded top to this by clicking on this X, sliding over, and clicking on that X, and lifting up to the midpoint, and my final click. Not quite done yet. I need to push... I need to carve off the edges with the push-pull and that's what this is going to be here until it fades to blue or gray. Wow. Let's take a look at the other side. Might have gone overboard with that. Looks like it. If I could knock the other wall right off. So I'm going to back up one step there it is. Uh, let's spin around and get the 
repeat on the other wall. I'm just going to go quickly here to show you that first I measure down from midpoint. Once it tells me where it is, to an inch. There it is. A double arc. It remembers what I last used there. Click, click, and one more click on the top. I'm going to push pull these. There it is. And there's the other one. So I'm going to rotate around uh, just to check my work and start on the other side for the dowel hole. Um, virtual, I've got to do a couple of little things here with these lines. Uh, one is to, well, let's go ahead and drill out that spot. Oh, uh, let's see how I want to do this. There's the spot that I want, but I want to use the circle tool for it. So basically you're going to come down, find the midpoint. There it is. Click on that center, and then you just pull off a little bit to set your radius. And all I need is a quarter, an eighth of an inch radius, which gives me a quarter inch dowel, and I have it. The nice thing is I'm going to punch right through this with my push pull and create a dowel right now. Um, first, I'm going to clean up a few of these lines with the eraser tool like this one and this one. It's a little confusing. I don't need these ones either. So just kind of clean things up. You'll start to see the shape coming about. Here we go. Push pull. I'm going to pull the dowel out first. Get a nice distance. I'm going to go ahead and orbit so I can get a better look at this and you can see it too. As I push this back through, I actually should be creating a new dowel that goes into that space. Let's see if that's true. And it did. So I actually went a little over with that, but that's okay because it's very easy to fix. Okay, so we have a little sticking out there, and that's normal. That's the way we want it. Let's go ahead and do a little touch-up work, and then you can uh, take off on your own project and see how you do. One of the things I like to do is just distinguish these two pieces of wood from one another. That is a upright piece of wood, and this other one is the same way. So I want to be accurate in that. And another line to clean up. All that's left to really do here is just decorate it. And I can start that with my paint bucket. You'd go to the brick and pull down some wood and find what suits your fancy and just start pouring it into different parts of this project. And that's what I'm going to leave you with for now and we'll meet over in the lab to uh, get some nice work done.